Wow. This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Hey everybody, Cruise Man here. Today I'm with Robert White. Hey guys. Robert White Photography. Check out his YouTube channel. And uh, he washed his 2023 gold wing, so he wanted to bring it over and show it to me because it's so clean. Yeah. But actually, that's not the only reason he brought it over. Let me show you what's going on. As you can see, he uh, decided to put a screw in his tire. And that's what we're going to work on today. See if we can't plug that plug that hole. I really just wanted another I really just wanted another reason to come visit Cruise Man, so I poked a hole in my tire so I could come over here and get it fixed. So we thought we'd do a video show how I plug a tire. I've only done this a couple of times and I've been lucky it's worked both times. One time it was a really really extreme uh, almost in the sidewall but I was able to plug it enough to get it to a dealer so I didn't have to pull the wheel off and take the tire in. The other time it was kind of like where Roberts is right in the middle of the tread. You really shouldn't plug a tire unless the screw or the nail or the hole is in the center of the tire, you know, in the tread area, not on the sidewall. And a lot of people ask how reliable are they? How safe are they? Um, to be totally safe, you really should plan on getting a new tire, replacing it. Uh, I, for some reason, I always pick a nail or a screw up when the tire only has like a thousand miles on it. You know, it's usually brand new. Yeah. But it's um, it's a judgment call. I have ridden with a plug uh, three or four thousand miles with no problems. I don't know if I'd go on a long road trip. Just for me personally, I wouldn't feel too comfortable with it. But I've never had one fail, so. Yeah. Hopefully today won't be the first. That's what I'll do. I'll, I feel pretty comfortable just going around town with a plug tire. I mean, I've done it with cars for years, uh, but eventually I'll be taking the bike to Colorado. And when I do, uh, certainly going to get a brand new tire before we go on that trip. So, okay. Well, like always, Robert comes over here with the impression that I'm going to do the work, but I always put him to work. <laughs> He's much younger and stronger than I am. So, um, but well, I'm gonna, on, on both accounts. But I'll be here to call 911 if anything goes wrong. And we'll airlift him out of here before we have to. So anyway, uh, let me show you what I've got over here. I've got some, uh, just the basic sticky rope plugs that I use, a pair of pliers, some rubber cement, a drill with a 532nd drill bit. And then we have the little tool here that you use to insert the sticky rope now i don't i don't use the reamer and usually these kits come with a little reaming tool the problem is if you're on the side of a road laying on your side trying to use that re you have no leverage it's really almost impossible to use that reamer so that's why i always carry a little drill with me now this is my home drill but I carry a little electric screwdriver that I can put drill bits in and it's, it is powerful enough to drill through a rubber tire. So I'll show you that in the, or I'll put the links in the description if you're interested. I've done a review on that before. It's one from Fantic and it works great. But we'll just go ahead and use this drill today. And uh, well, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take the screw out of the tire and then we will drill out the hole put some rubber cement on the sticky rope, and we'll go from there. Let's get the bike on the center stand first. Yeah. Yep, Phillips head. Okay, so Robert's gonna see if he can get this screw out of there. Hopefully he's yeah. got enough it's head a... left. And... Oh, geez, that's... Oh, man. I don't know what that is. It might have been a Phillips head at one time, but <laughs> not much left. Not much left. Let's see if I can get a bite right from over here. It's, oh yeah, I see what you mean. It's like really. Yeah, it's pretty. Might have to get a pair of needle nose or something. Yeah. So yeah, it's worn down so much that we can't get a screwdriver in there. So we might see if you can do it with the air in the tire. Otherwise, we'll 
Yeah, I think I can. It's pretty pliable. Yeah, you can get a bite on it. Ooh, let's hope it's just two centimeters wide. <laughs> then I don't have to worry about it. Boy, it doesn't look like there's much there. There doesn't, it doesn't. It might be why it's still holding air. <laughs> Huh. It's coming. Here, let me grab these. I'll get a little more bite on it. A little more surface area. Almost looks like a nail. Oh, uh, it's a Phillips head no, something. It's a screw. Some kind. Yeah, no hope of that not being a hole. <laughs> uh, I think it's I'm trying to unscrew it. I would think there's threads on. Yeah, I see the threads now. It's like a wood. It's like a uh, like a decking screw or something. How in the world do you pick up something that long? <laughs> I don't know, but I I've been able to figure out how to do it a few times. I had one one time that the one that went in it went in about right here. Oh wow! And it, and it bent. It was like at a ninety degree angle, big long nail. Well, I was telling my channel on the way over here that I have been super fortunate in the forty plus years I've been riding a motorcycle. This is the first time really? I've ever had to plug a tire. Oh, I've had to do it at least twice on my gold wings and. And I've picked up other things where I just took it in and had them swap the tire, but I know I've plugged at least two. All right. I, I'm starting to believe that was intentional. <laughs> look at look at the length of that. Somebody didn't like Dang. my motorcycle. Damn gold wing drivers. I don't even, I don't probably even a Harley driver. <laughs> you might not I'm even have to. I'm just kidding. Harley drivers. I'm just kidding. Okay. You might not even have to ream it out. That's going to be a pretty good size hole. Wow. Yeah, that that thing is in there. Deep. Holy cow. I don't even have screws like that. Now I hear the air coming out. Okay then. Wow. Okay, so now the next thing, before we ream out the tire, I'm going to go ahead and put this sticky rope inside this little tool here. And <laughs> these sticky ropes are probably 10 or 15 years old, and they are so stuck to this plastic, they are definitely sticky. And basically what we want to do is peel this off, and we're going to feed it through this little, like threading a needle, basically. And once you get it kind of started through, that's where I'm going to use the pliers. And I'm going to just pull it through the rest of the way using the pliers, like this right here. So you want this at the halfway point on this sticky rope. Okay, now we also have some rubber cement and we're going to slather this with some rubber cement before we put it in the tire. So it's yeah. good it's good to have a trial run here in a nice garage. <laughs> yeah, it's very loose. Yeah, you can probably That's good. Get some on the other side too. Okay. I think that's good, don't you? Yep. I think that's gonna be fine. Robert's done this before. He didn't tell me that. <laughs> but he's done this on a car before. 
I was going to watch carefully while you were doing this to make sure you're doing it right, but... No, no. Man, you're right. Getting this in from an angle is a tough call. Well, that was easy. That's pretty good. That, that was... rubber cement helps, I think, kind of lubricates yeah, it. I'm going to put it in about that far. And then I'm going to get my fingers on it. Just to hold it in place. Hold it in place while I pull it back out. There you go. There we go. Well, that was easy peasy. So that's what it looks like right now. Now we're going to get a razor blade and yep. cut off the excess. So they, they don't want to drive it off like this. Otherwise, the tire is going to want to be pulling that plug out every time you go over. Correct. Every time you roll over it. But you can use any straight edge razor to cut this off. It doesn't have to be completely flush. No, it'll wear down. See if I can get a nail trim at the same time. <laughs> there we go. Let's do this one last little bit. At least you got the nail there we go. in the middle of the tread in, in a the... pretty decent spot. Well, whoever placed it there did a good job. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. <laughs> Nice of them. Yeah. Okay, now let's roll the wheel. Oh, I've got a. I, and by the way, I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the video, but I put the parking brake on so that the wheel wouldn't try to turn yep. as he was putting in the plug. Oh, man, your wheels are clean now. I'm telling you, it worked a charm. Cruise Man's secret recipe for cleaning wheels. You guys go check it out. Yeah, that uh, super clean all-wheel cleaner is the bomb. Okay, now Robert's going to try out his... Have you ever used it? I have. His Fantic air compressor. Comes with a little rubber hose. You just screw in. And you turn it on and set what pressure you want and hit go. And that's all there is to it. I think I forgot to tell Robert my hourly rate. <laughs> oh. I love this because this is Yeah. It it swivels so you don't have to worry about twisting the tube as you tighten it on the spigot here. You do have to get it straight though. There it goes. You keep your back tire at cruise man. I keep mine at 40 to 41. Okay. I keep both my, front and back, but you I, know. I keep mine at 41 too, so that will do that. Matter of fact, it's probably already set that way. Now 43. Well, I put a little extra. Weather. I put a little extra over it. <laughs> well, sometimes you have to go over a little because this thing tends to under pressurize. Yeah, let's do 42. All right, folks, sorry, it's going to be a little noisy. A few moments later. Okay, we've got 42 pounds, which usually on these air compressors translates to about 40 or 41. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to put this up in the shadow so we can all see it. Of course. 42. Okay, do you want to let a little out? Yeah, I'm going to let a little bit out here. I don't see any bubbles. Yeah, I see. That's just one glistening in the sun. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, it looks good to me. Because you would really see. They would grow. Yeah. They would definitely grow. We're going to reset that. Make sure that's back at zero. Yep. And it might have just been my angle. It's kind of hard to get this in there. 42.3.4. I'm going to say that's good. I am too. Okay, so I think we're done. Uh, it looks like it's holding air and another successful venture. Uh, of course, I did the hard work. I had to sit there and run the camera. Robert just laid on his side. You know what? Took a nap. That's right. So, uh, 
So if you guys have plugged any tires before, let me know in the comments down below what your experience has been. I've found these rope sticky rope plugs to be very reliable. Apparently Robert's done it several times on his automobile uh, tires. I found them to be very reliable. I tried the little mushroom plugs one time and I never could get it to work. I never could figure out how to get them in or I had the little tool they use and it just... Yeah, I'm not sure I trust the mushroom plugs to be honest with you. Yeah, I've uh, always had pretty good luck with or I've had really good luck with these sticky ropes. As long as you don't get a slash in your tire like with a glass or something, it won't work with that has to be a hole. If any of you guys have used one of those mushroom plugs and have had good luck with it, put it in the comments below because I've, I've not run across anybody yet who's been a long-term motorcycle rider said they used that plug and, and, and it's worked for them. So. Once again, I do want to mention another successful job on Robert's bike only because he's wearing the Maintain the Obsession Cruise Man's Grand shirt and the Shadow Wing cap which you can get from my merchandise shop. That's why this all went so well, just Absolutely. in case you want to know. Absolutely. Okay. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you check out Robert's video on his channel. I'll put a link in the description and up above, and I'm sure he'll put a video together talking about this as well. Thanks for joining us today. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Garage. And remember what we always say, ride often, but ride safe. Bye, guys.